Fukuoka City is quickly gaining popularity among the young and working demographics as one of the best places to live in all of Japan. One of these reasons is its convenient access to the airport, making it easy to connect Fukuoka with the rest of Japan and other parts of Asia. In fact, Fukuoka's airport is one of the closest airports built near a city in the entire world. It only takes five minutes by subway to travel to Hakata Station, which is Kyushu's main hub for both local trains and bullet trains. Traveling an extra six minutes along the subway line will bring you to Tenjin, Fukuoka's downtown core and shopping district. If you're traveling to rural parts of Kyushu, Fukuoka Airport is also accessible by city and highway bus. For city dwellers, however, the subway really is the best way to go. Not only is it the fastest way to get through the city, but it's also the cheapest. From my own apartment to the airport, I only pay about 300 yen, or $3, and it takes less than 20 minutes for me to get there. Travelers to Fukuoka might also like to know that purchasing a day ticket for the subway only costs 620 yen. But anyway, back to the airport. Fukuoka Airport is one of my favorite places to kill time. It's not too big, it's not too crowded, but there's plenty to do if you find yourself with some time here. The third floor has some cool restaurants, and a bookstore that I really like to spend time in. I mean, who doesn't like to pick up a good book before a flight? I love their air travel themed books. Desks are also provided, complete with power outlets in case you need to charge something while you wait for your flight. There are also a number of restaurants on the third floor. From famous Hakata ramen to Italian pasta, there's sure to be something for everybody. But personally, I prefer the restaurant's window seats. There's just something really exciting about sitting and watching planes take off and land while enjoying a delicious meal. And here's something maybe only fellow aviation geeks will understand, but this is also a great spot to take photos of airplanes. Here's a time lapse I took while eating. Gift giving is a huge thing in Japanese culture, and souvenir shopping in Fukuoka Airport is actually really fun. It's really interesting because like, the place to buy omiyage, or souvenirs, is pretty much like its own department store, like its own little shopping center. There's so many different varieties of foods that you can try and I kind of want to try them all, but I won't. <laughs> I won't. But as you can see, there's just like so much going on here. This is all for omiyage, souvenirs, so I will show you a few of my favorite ones right now. I like mentai wieners because they're kind of funny. I like cube costella because it's basically a bite-sized cake in a box and it's so cute. And finally, I really like giving people Hakata ramen because it's so famous here. However, the best-selling omiyage is Hakata Torimo. It's a rich pastry snack and it's pretty good. If you have a chance to sample it, make sure you do. Passengers flying international will have to take a shuttle bus from Fukuoka Airport across the tarmac to the international airport, which is situated on the other side of the runway. This ride is free, but it takes about 5 to 10 minutes. The international airport is simple and clean. Some people might find this boring, but I appreciate the lack of chaos. The international airport mostly services other destinations in Asia, such as Korea, China, Singapore, Thailand, Taiwan, and Hawaii. The most fascinating thing in the international airport is noticing how different the souvenirs are. While food seems to be the most popular choice in the domestic terminal, the international terminal sells novelty goods instead. So that's my guide of Fukuoka Airport. I hope it's useful for you. But now I gotta jump back over to domestic and catch my flight. Time for me to go through there and they don't allow cameras so I gotta go. Bye.